VR Cargo, established in 2003, is a chrome and mining minerals transport company. For the past few years, we've been offering a safe and predictable service to the dry bulk road freight industry. Our fleet, currently consisting of 120 trucks, is ever growing. We have been RTMS or Road Transport Management System approved for the past five years. Our operations are concentrated in the Mpumalanga and Limpopo provinces of South Africa and across the border to the Maputo Harbour in Mozambique. We have the capacity to design a turnkey operation to any client's needs and a clear vision focused on sustainable growth for the future. Our primary objective is to achieve and maintain the highest practicable level of health and safety control in all areas of the company's operations. The aim of this video is to ensure that this objective is reached by exposing you to all the health and safety procedures which you are required to adhere to at all times. All acts of dishonesty will result in dismissal. The company and its clients reserve the right to search any employee, a container in the possession of an employee, or any vehicle driven by an employee. Employees who refuse to be searched will be subject to suspension. All acts of violence, including assault, attempted assault, fighting, intimidation, threats of violence, incitement of violence, and rough behavior that is capable of endangering the safety of others. The possession of firearms and other dangerous weapons on the company premises is not allowed unless authorized by the company in writing. If an employee is suspected of using a habit-forming drug or being under the influence of alcohol, he will be subjected to medical tests as may be necessary to determine his condition. VR Cargo's management regards the health and safety of employees, contractors and visitors to be of vital importance. All employees and subcontractors need to attend toolbox talk safety sessions before every shift. Incidents and accidents must be reported to the immediate supervisor or health and safety representative of that area. All employees must use the correct personal protective equipment as required by the standard operating procedure. No employee may alter, damage, interfere or bypass any safety equipment or devices. Employees must adhere to the four steps to safety and report any deviations. Supervisors and the safety department must conduct regular planned task observations. Report any deviations from any procedure to your supervisor. Management undertakes to provide personal protective equipment to their staff for protection against health and safety hazards associated with our activities. It is every employee's responsibility to ensure that his or her PPE is in working condition. It is legal requirement to wear PPE and the refusal to do so can lead to disciplinary procedures being instituted. The mandatory PPE includes overalls or work suits, gloves, safety shoes, eye and hearing protection, respiratory equipment, reflective vests and tire cages. When working in specific areas, additional PPE will be specified in the respective SOPs. Additional PPE required in the tire bay includes a hard hat and tire cages. In the wash area you will need gumboots and a rain suit. All tools and equipment must be SABS approved and inspected prior to use. Homemade and effective tools are not permitted. Ensure that power connections and cables are in a good and safe working condition. Hand tools must be neatly kept in toolboxes with the relevant inspection list. High air pressure tools and hoses are to be rolled away against the walls with pressure supplier valves shut when not in use. Ensure that tools and equipment are operated correctly and always remember to use the correct tool for the correct job. All areas must be free from material that can cause fires. Ensure that fire extinguishers are free from obstruction by equipment. At VR Cargo, we constantly maintain our trucks to ensure safety on the road. Maintenance includes brake testing, full services and trailer services. We have an on-site MAN dealership servicing all our trucks. All trucks must be isolated and locked out when not in use. They must be parked on a level surface with stop blocks behind the wheels and the driver must switch off the engine, remove the key and hand the key to the supervisor of the respective area. The driver may under no circumstances remain in the vehicle while it's being worked on. Isolation and lockout must be removed when the work is complete. Thereafter, the team will direct the driver out of the area. The supervisor is not allowed to hand the key to someone that is not competent and licensed to operate the truck. 
The truck washing procedure is as follows. The assistant must remove all loose mud and soil that does not contain oil or any contamination from trailer bins and chassis. All oil contaminated soil must be removed and taken to the contaminated waste bins. Contaminated soil and mud that can't be removed can be left on the truck to be washed off by the pressure wash. The mechanical horse must be washed outside. The cab and chassis must be cleaned in the inside. Trailer bins must be washed on the sides and tipped over if empty to wash the chassis and the canvases. Do not direct the high-pressure nozzle onto radiators, cylinder seals or delegate components. Old yet removable grease on pins and brushes must be removed and placed into the contaminated waste bins provided for this. Extreme caution must be taken when using high-pressure washing equipment. Inspect the truck again. If any grease patches still exist, use chemicals to clean and rinse off with water. Remove all the lockout systems and clear the area. The wash bay assistant will direct the driver to pull off and leave the wash bay. After washing each truck, the wash bay must be cleaned and be prepared for the next truck to pull in. Before use, the operator must ensure that the power connection and cable are in good condition. Inspect the gouge, stop valves, pipes and connections and ensure that they are in a good condition and free of any leaks. All covers and guards must be in good condition, secure and in place. Correct operation of the pressure gun must be inspected. Only use recommended and approved detergents. The operator must ensure that the water supply line to the pressure cleaner is open before switching on the power supply. Proper care must be taken for the pressure lines at all times. Do not use high pressure washing equipment for cleaning your body or that of another person. Direct the pressure gun towards the component to be washed. The component must be washed from the top downwards. Ensure that the washing takes place where wastewater can be channeled into the drainage system for contaminated water. All water used by VR Cargo is recycled. The operator must switch off the pressure cleaner, close the water supply line and discharge the pressure in the line before disconnecting it from the electrical supply line. The operator must ensure that the pressure cleaner is cleaned and stored away in the designated place. Please note that you may not perform any hot work such as cutting and welding while the wheel is still affixed onto the truck or the tire is still on the rim. The tire must be deflated and removed from the rim before cutting can be done on it. Workers may not stand under the fender compartment of the truck or rest in between the tire axles during any process in the workshop. Only three workers are allowed during the loosening of a wheel. Wheel nuts must be placed on a designated place, not on the ground or workshop floor. Injuries may arise when the incorrect tools are used. Ensure tools are inspected before and after use. When inflating a mounted tire on a truck, ensure that the wheel is correctly on the tire cage before inflating the tire. Evacuate everyone. Only one person inflating the tire is allowed at a time. Loose wheels must be inflated in the tire cage at all times. Ensure that no body parts are between the wheel and the tire cage during the inflating process. Inflate the tire to the specified KPA and shut off air supply when finished. Check the pressure with a gauge. If everything is in order, take the wheel out of the tire cage and put it back on the truck by following the correct procedure. Our new workshop facility is paperless and operates completely on new age technology. Once the truck pulling and procedure has been followed, the workshop foreman must identify the tasks to be done and instruct accordingly. All called in suppliers or technicians are required to follow the foreman's instructions and adhere to all VR cargo procedures. Only two technicians are allowed under the truck depending on the size of the task at that time. Use drip trays to catch any oil and liquid spillages. All removed parts and heavy pieces must be placed out of the way. Don't be a hero. Ask for manpower and carry equipment carefully. At VR Cargo, we are committed to environmental management. We have an environmental management system, EMS, specifically designed for the collection, handling, transport and storage of used oil. This ensures that we manage our risks effectively. The EMS covers four basic aspects. Training at all levels is essential. This includes driver evaluations, first aid, has chem, spill and fire response training. Used oil is tracked and monitored continuously from the point of collection, en route and at the storage facilities to transfer to the refineries. Processes related to the storage and transfer of used oil are strictly controlled and monitored. 
monitoring is done on product quality, effluent and EMS affectivity. Oil must not be spilled or disposed of without following proper procedure. Used oil is stored in a container and collected by a company that is ISO 1401-2004 certified and has pollution insurance of 20 million per load of used oil. The Health and Safety Management Program has been incorporated into the ISO 1401 Environmental Management System. All oil is pumped into an oil reservoir. VR Cargo's office operates fully on a biometric system as safety of all visitors and employees is of paramount importance to us. Phase 2 Our depot in Phase 2 is currently under construction. This new facility will also be paperless. All work will be done on tablets. It is scheduled to be completed in 2020. The pre-tip inspection entails checking the following before making a trip. Oil level, oil and diesel leaks, coolant, brakes and clutch fluids, horn, ignition, headlights, turn signals, wipers and washers, gauges and lights, windows and windscreen, condition of the body, interior and exterior cleanliness, tire wheel nuts, 9 kg fire extinguisher, chock blocks, mirrors, brakes. Limpopo to Maputo, Mozambique is our export route. Our inland routes include the Limpopo area to Richards Bay and Durban as well as Northern Cape to Port Elizabeth and Saldana. Our trucks come in manual and automatic systems our truck's trailers are equipped with tarpaulin, which is used by the driver to cover loads. The required procedure is that drivers must cover their bins when loaded and empty to protect the load or residue from becoming airborne. Strips should not hang on the side of the trailer as they scratch the paint off and cause the tarpaulin to tear. The ratchet should be locked when tightening the straps. When offloading, the driver should carefully roll the tarpaulin open and safely secure it with the brackets on the side of the trailer. All VR cargo trucks are fitted with cameras that monitor the inside of the cab and the road 24-7. Do not cover or obstruct the camera's view in any way. Cell phones may not be used while driving. This includes texting while driving. Driving whilst on your cell phone is an illegal act. Our trucks have a Bluetooth feature. Ensure that all devices are connected to the Bluetooth system and that all calls to and from the control room are hands-free. No passengers allowed. Drive with both hands on the wheel, obey and look out for other road users at all times. Wear your seatbelt. Always buckle up. Stop only at safe places where you will be visible to others. Inform the control room immediately of anything you are unsure of or suspicious to you. Drive safely at all times. Ensure that you are in possession of the required documents. This includes your valid driver's license, PDP, work permit and passport. Should you find yourself involved in an accident, stop. Press red button immediately. Switch the engine off and activate your hazard lights. Wear your reflective vest when exiting the truck and place warning triangles 45 meters from accident in both directions. Report the accident immediately to the operations office. Once you've assessed the extent of the injuries, report the following details to the operations office. Location of the accident. Number of people injured and how serious the injuries are. Number of cars involved. Spillages noticed. Is there fire involved? Is the truck, trailer or both overturned? Never lie on a statement as it will lead to dismissal. In the case of a fire, remove the fire extinguisher and extinguish the fire without placing yourself in danger. Direct traffic until a traffic officer arrives. Ensure you are visible at all times. Stay with your vehicle until assistance arrives and complete the log sheet accident details. Never make any statements or express your opinion on the causes of the accident to any third party or eyewitnesses. Do not admit liability or give information to any person. All inquiries must be referred to management. Remember to always stay calm and control the situation to the best of your ability. Wear the full PPE when at the mine. Ensure that you report to security and comply with the mine speed limit at all times. The truck's fire extinguisher must be serviced and in good working order. Obey the instruction from spotter and don't stop in prohibited areas. Emergency situations emerge from Fires, minor to serious accidents within the working premises 
emergency announcements, collapsing of structure and biological hazards. In the event of an emergency, a siren will be activated. Calmly but swiftly evacuate your officers and take your belongings if the situation allows you. Do not run, shout or panic. Ensure that you leave any doors behind you open and do not use the lift. An evacuation chair is available for disabled personnel. In the main office building, the first one to get to the door must deactivate the automatic door closure to keep the door open. The wash bay coordinator must warn available drivers at the dining area about the evacuation and lead them to the assembly point. All personnel and visitors must assemble at the emergency assembly point where roll call and head count will take place. Upon entry into the facility, all visitors must report to security. From there you will be shown to the correct department. Please note that VR Cargo has a zero tolerance alcohol policy. Visitors who are under the influence of alcohol must leave the premises. Stay away from no-go areas unless you are under supervision. No-go areas include the workshop, wash bay and refueling station. Ensure that you are wearing the correct PPE and are careful of your surroundings at all times as you can be exposed to various hazards on the premises. These hazards include noise, washing chemicals, turning machines, open pits, slipping, tripping and falling and being bumped by moving trucks. Report theft immediately. Smoking visitors must use the designated smoking areas only. The health and safety of our visitors and employees is of paramount importance. We trust that this video has exposed you to all the procedures and rules required to ensure your safety while working with VR Cargo. Thank you for watching.